Communication with parents is so essential to creating a healthy, positive classroom learning environment. So that's why I've been giving a lot of thought of how I want communication in my future classroom to look. I believe that I'm going to send out a questionnaire like the one above uh, to all my parents to find out a little bit more about how they would like to communicate. Do they want me to text them? Do they like phone calls? Do they prefer email, handwritten notes? Whatever's up to them and I will be sure to accommodate parents. Additionally, I think it's important to know what language our parents speak. How can you communicate if they don't know what you're saying? If they don't know how to read English, how will you communicate to them? So part of the questionnaire and just general knowledge will be what language do our, my parents speak so I can best reach them. Um, in addition to their preferred mode and means of communication, I also am going to send out a weekly newsletter. Now this could be weekly or monthly. I I'm, I'm think I'll figure it out more when I'm actually teaching. But in this newsletter, I'm gonna have goals, additional things they can do with their children to help them feel connected to the classroom and help them engage in their child's learning. Um, it'll have additional books they could read, uh, websites to check out, children's work, samples of work from the classroom, what we're learning and what's going on in the classroom. Um, so I believe this will be a positive thing that the parents would look forward to every time that it comes out. It helps connect them to what I'm doing in the classroom as well as their child's growth and development and gives them additional ways to be part of that growth. Um, I think that through sending home the questionnaire and figuring out what language the parents speak, figuring out how they want to communicate to me, and sending the newsletter, it's going to promote well-versed, um, fluid conversation in the classroom. If I never sent parents what was going on, I wouldn't hear from them, they wouldn't hear from me. I want to have an open form of communication where they feel heard and they understand and know what the heck is going on in their child's classroom? So with that being said, the final piece of um, communication in my class is I'm going to have a thing online where you can, like an open forum, where you can submit questions, comments, concern. Of course, I will always be checking my email and they can reach me through email, but I also want an additional platform where they can directly submit these requests so I can respond to them as soon as possible because their child is their world and their child is my world too. So we need to come together and support one another and help their child be the best student they can be. This or, um, this theory of communication relates to my philosophy because I believe teacher accountability has a lot to do with the classroom. So as a teacher, it's our job to say, hey, these are my parents. I'm gonna take the initiative, I'm gonna to get to know them, and I'm gonna communicate with them. We have to take the first step forward, first, um, yeah, step forward, put our foot forward so that we can um, kind of lay the framework of what communication in the class looks like, because every year is different. They might have some parents who have never wanted to communicate. Well, I want to, and I'm gonna show them that through the different steps I listed above. Um, I also believe in a democratic classroom, so I wanna hear what they have to say, and I want them to hear what I have to say, and together we can work together, just like me and the students, to create um, the best possible version of our classroom. And um, lastly, my last thing, topic in my philosophy is language. Hello, that's communication written all over it. So not only does it have to do with me talking to the parents, but it's me taking the time to listen to them and to use kind words when communicating with the parents. They're never, it doesn't have to be hostile or mean. We can really work together to create the best possible experience for their children and my students, the people we love the most. Um, also relating to this is experience. So my kindergarten placement, my teacher sends a newsletter home every month and she has had nothing but great reviews. The parents love it and they feel more involved in their child's schoolwork. Additionally, she also sent a questionnaire out in the beginning of the year and I got to flip through them and it was so interesting to see what the parents had to say. And not only was it about how they would wanna communicate, but it was also about their child. How would they describe their child's strengths, weaknesses? It really gave great insight to the children and it's something I definitely plan to implement in my future classroom. So thank you so much.